a chop shop? Who's asking? An old friend. Really? Yes, sir. Where's he at? Shut up, Dooley. Sorry, ma'am. We've been on the trail a long while. Wondering how far to the Hobson Ranch. A few hours' ride. But if you're looking for Rich, uh, he's up at Batuni. Two days the other way. How come you know where Hobson's at? I just asked. <laughs> we're old friends. Thanks for your help, ma'am. No trouble. Let's go, Lily. Good day. Where's Mr. Hobson? Uh, so to tell you, it's right out to Snowy Meadow for a few days. What? That's who needed his help. Yeah. Are you all right? Here. I'm sure of nothing. Can I help? Come on. What have you got for supper? Well, I'm a shepherd's pie and a lot of leftover moose stew and there's fresh carrots and for dessert. They, I'm... Richmond P. Hobson Jr., Anhandel Phillips, and Gloria McIntosh Hobson were real people. And for a short period of time, in the wilderness halfway between Vancouver and the Yukon, they worked to carve out the largest cattle ranch in the world. That part is true. And pan. Then I'm supposed to bring them back in the double. Well, what should I say? Tell them that one of them is called Dooley, and he uh, appears to be missing a large chunk of his ear. That's enough for me. Me too. Go. But what about you and Kit? Tell them to hurry. What do they want with us? It's probably nothing. We're just going to ignore them. Come on, let's see the Tommy Shepherd's pie. What are you going to do? Talk to them. Ask them what they think they're doing. Uh, are you sure that that's a good idea? Like civilized people? Hobson, are you sure that you know how to use that? I've watched Pan. But you've never actually... You... They don't know that. I'll get the 22 from the bunkhouse. Good. If they come back, we'll be ready. Mr. Hobson! 
Mr. Phillips, Tommy? Oh, oh. What are you doing out here? Well, it's these, uh, they're, they're, it's these, uh, they're, uh, is Mrs. Hobson all right? Did she get herself into trouble again? Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, no, well. Take a breath, son. These two thugs showed up. What'd they want? I don't know. What do they do? Well, yeah, they camped up on the ridge. That's where Mrs. Hobson sent me to get you to. You know who they are? I didn't see them up close. One of them looked like somebody tried to make a meal out of his ear. Why would you think that? Actually... Tell me you weren't thinking the same thing. Well, Mrs. Hobson said that one of them was sort of missing a, a chunk of his ear. That's right. Why would you leave Kit and Mrs. Hobson alone to face the Fraker boys? She ordered me. Who are the Franker boys? away from the house. But the cattle! We'll have to wait till the men get back. We have to guard the ranch. It's okay. It's okay. I'm back. What are you doing in the barn? Well, I hitched a ride from town to Kluskis last night, and uh, then I walked. So, what are you doing in the barn? Well, I got in late. I didn't want to scare you. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I, uh, I, I got wounded. They invalided me out. And not fit for combat anymore. Is it serious? Ah, huh, nothing really. Just nothing much more than a, a simple flesh wound. It's, uh, but it's... Uh, uh, you know what they say. It's, uh, it was the right way, the wrong way, and then the... Uh, Navy way. <laughs> but anyway, what, what's going on? Why are you carrying guns? These men are attacking the ranch, and... They're... Where's Panda, Mr. Hobson? Tommy went to get them. Well, now that you're here, I mean, we can hold them off at least until they get back. My name's to wait for Panda, Mr. Hobson. I'm not for sure. But... You two stay right here, and uh, I'll we'll run them off right now. What'd you say the camp was? 